All right. So I saw this sketch on Saturday Night Live with Kate McKinnon playing Jeff Sessions, but also playing Jeff Sessions being Forrest Gump. Now, it seems like every Sunday morning I'm making a video on Saturday Night Live. It's like Satan is, you know, they have d demons on their writing staff right now because there's a lot of things wrong with what they're doing there. I've talked about how I watched Saturday Night Live. I was in high school when it first came on. And back then, I think I was convinced it was funny. But now as I'm an adult, a grown person, I don't think Saturday Night Live has ever been really funny. Not that you wouldn't laugh or there'd be a few good jokes. But it's been really more manipulative, pushing sort of an immoral agenda and being kind of mean-spirited. But now I think that there's a lot that's a lot that's going on that's just... Uh, kind of blatant devil worship. And I'm talking about, in this case, this idea of Kate McKinnon, who is maybe one of the least funny people they've ever had on Saturday Night Live, but they keep on pushing her out there. She seems to be a depressed person, like she has depressed energy. But this thing that they're doing, covering Trump administration officials with women, having them, women play that part, is kind of disturbing, very insulting, and again, this is where they're reversing something, which is always satanic. And of course, we saw this with Melissa McCarthy. But now you see Kate McKinnon doing this with Jeff Sessions. And it's not really funny, kind of insulting to everybody. And you have this idea of Forrest Gump that they you consider someone, I don't know, a simpleton or retarded or whatever they would characterize this character as. Somebody with lower levels of intelligence. And you have Jeff Sessions sitting on the bench playing for his gump, you know, the whole box of chocolates type of scene. And he comes out and they make a racist joke. Leslie, this woman, Leslie, I forget what her last name is, maybe Jones. And they make sort of a racial undertone type joke because they're saying Jeff Sessions is racist. Now they're saying he's, uh, you know, simpleton, retarded, racist. They take a shot at Kellyanne Conway. But also, we're supposed to believe that these guys are somehow masterminds and they are working with the Russian government to usurp the rule of law and overthrow the democratic process. So you have these mixed metaphors. And then in the end of the sketch, they feed him pie that has crap in it, human feces in it. And the thing about this is, is I grew up in Connecticut. And people in the Northeast, when I grew up, you were told in every possible way that people in the South, now this was Republican type people, Christians, white people, were all stupid racists. And this has obviously gotten worse. And I didn't even think about it when I was a kid. I, I, my parents were Democrats. I grew up, most of my friends, people, parents were, were for the most part liberals. You had some rich people that tended towards maybe the Republicans just because of money issues. But everybody in the Northeast, there was this element and this was carried over from the Civil War. We even taught this in school, that there was this idea that people from the South were somehow stupid and, of course, racist. But when I moved to Atlanta, I must have been what, 23, 24. I lived in Atlanta for a couple of years, and then my family and I lived in Virginia. And I've lived all over the country. I lived in various places all over the country. And I found that the people I like the least are in the Northeast, just because it's more of a hostile environment. The cities on the East Coast, there's just a lot more hostility there. And this idea that people from the South are somehow stupider, I mean, they talk a little bit slower, but there's a nice pace, there's a nice natural pace. But you don't get stupid from living in a geographical region. It's not like the educational systems are worse, and it's not like there's something in the air, <laughs> there's something in the water that's making people be are somehow stupider. And this is definitely something that they're pushing in this sketch with Kate McKinnon, this idea that somehow these people are just not capable of electing an official. They're not make, they're capable of making the right choice. So therefore, what? You, know, you have to get rid of the electoral system. What do you need? Martial law? I mean, you think about these types of things. They say this also about the conspiracy theory community, that people aren't capable of understanding what's real news and what's fake news. And these are all agendas that are being pushed by Saturday Night Live. 
in lots of different ways, and John Oliver and these comedians. And there's a certain level of arrogance, and it's a very hostile attitude. And so you see this. It's a, like it's a form of we know better and we are better because that's what this type of mocking is. And really, in all reality, it's just bullying. I mean, they talk about bullying, but the bullying that happens in these cities in terms of the elitist attitudes and the competitiveness and the rat race, there's a lot more bullying that goes on in these like city areas than goes on in rural areas because the pace is different and people have more interpersonal relationships in a small town than they do in a city where you're fighting for your life every day. And so this is something I think everybody should consider. And I guess Saturday Night Live has just gone all in on propaganda in every possible way. All right, this is Paul Romano reporting from the apocalypse. Everybody have a blessed day.